I look tired? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right. We ready? Okay, today we are gonna do smoked salmon in the indoor smoker. So we're gonna do that today. I, as with all of these recipes, there are a million ways to do them. And I'm just gonna kind of experiment a little bit. I mean, the basic process we'll go over, but uh, we're just gonna dive right in. You're gonna follow along and hopefully learn something from it. This will be a great, I think, starting point for you as you experiment with smoked salmon. So first thing to think about when you smoke anything really is to find the highest quality meat you can find. Uh, we just went to a local grocery store, picked up some salmon that looked pretty good to us. But you know, as far as I'm concerned, the better the, the meat that you start with, the, the better the results. So regardless, we're gonna start with this. This is farm-raised salmon, totally fine. You could do fresh uh, wild-caught salmon, farm-raised, doesn't really matter. Uh, go with what you like. Step one, I think this is really key with salmon. We're gonna do a dry brine. So I'm gonna walk you through that process. It is super complicated. Uh, just kidding, there's only two ingredients in the brine, salt and sugar. And wrap the salmon, let me make my dry brine. I'm gonna do a cup of kosher salt. It's a lot of salt, it's okay. So really with this brine, we're just trying to impart a, a, a really good flavor throughout the meat. And also, we're trying to kind of preserve moisture. Really, the, the deal here is 50-50 kosher salt and brown sugar. All right, so about a cup of kosher salt. Again, a lot of salt, it's okay. And I'm gonna do equal parts of dark brown sugar. You can use light. I even consider using turbinado, tarbinado sugar. Uh, I think that would probably work pretty well too if you have it, sugar in the raw, but almost everybody's got brown sugar, so we're just gonna go with that. Just simple 50-50 blend. Mix that up. We'll get the sugar and the salt just nicely incorporated so you can get kind of this light brown mixture. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brine, dry brine this salmon, I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap and then rest it in the fridge for a couple of hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my base plastic wrap set up here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. You know what, I'm not gonna cut them. I'm gonna leave them just like they are. I'm gonna put down a base. Also note, I'm gonna leave the skin on. I'm going simple here. Um, it may impact the absorption of the brine on the backside, but I don't really don't think it's gonna matter too much. Um, also, just, just look for little pin bones. I just saw one and, and pulled that out. Just something to think about. Salmon. Really cover it. I mean, we're, we're going heavy here on the brine. The deal is though, we're gonna rinse it off before we actually cook the salmon. And we're gonna try to develop a pellicle, which you, you may hear a lot about, which is a kind of a thin film um, on the surface of the salmon that gives the smoke something to adhere to. So we're gonna experiment with that a little bit. So that's really it. Hit the sides. As you can see, I mean, this is, it's a lot of seasoning, but we're not gonna leave it on here. So this is gonna, it's gonna draw moisture out of the salmon, and then it's gonna reabsorb and pull the flavoring in without being super intense or salty. And I'm only gonna do this for a couple hours. I think you can do it overnight. I know some people do. Um, to me, I don't want an extremely intense salty flavor. So I'm just gonna do a couple hours. I think it's sufficient. You could probably even do just one hour if you didn't have time to do two. Okay, and I think, yeah, that's gonna be good. So we'll put that in the fridge. Let me do my other piece here. Okay, step one complete. We're gonna throw these in the refrigerator for, like I said, about an hour to two hours. It's probably gonna be closer to two hours. All right, we'll be back shortly to check on them. It's been an hour and a half. Let's pull that salmon out and see how it's doing. So we're gonna unwrap, gonna rinse off the brine because we don't want that intense salt and sugar on the surface of the salmon. That's really important. Uh, it will destroy your taste buds, I think. It's did great. I mean, look at all the moisture. It went on dry, pulled a lot of moisture out, and then reabsorbs that flavor in. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll get good flavor throughout and really good texture. Already, I can tell the salmon is kinda, it's kinda got a deeper color to it. Okay, so now that we've brined, we wanna dry these off, get them real good and dry. And we're gonna let them sit in the fridge for another couple hours. And what we're trying to do is develop something called a pellicle. 
which is kind of like a thin film on the surface of the meat. We're kind of drying it out. It'll create a, an encapsulation to sort of keep the flavor in, give us a good surface to smoke, good smoking surface. Hopefully we'll get a lot of good smoke flavor. All right, so that's good and dry. Probably another hour and a half, two hours. We'll check on them, see how they're doing. If they're ready, we'll get them in the smoker. Okay, it has been two hours since we put the salmon back in the fridge to dry and develop a pellicle. So we're gonna see how it's doing. It's kind of a, got a shiny surface, but it's not wet. It's sort of sticky, which is I think what I want. I, the theory is that that pellicle kind of keeps the white fat from bubbling out of the salmon and kind of creates a protective layer as it smokes. And I'm gonna hit these with some honey and a little bit of salt. Just gonna keep it really simple. Uh, again, starting point, you can make this your own, add whatever you want to it, uh, but that's kind of my plan. And then we're gonna go get the smoker set up for a relatively low temperature smoke. It's still gonna be a hot smoke salmon, but uh, it's gonna be lower temperature than normal. All right, so let's get it set up. Here's my game plan on this. Uh, I wanna do cherry pellets today. I think cherry is gonna go really well with this salmon. So I'm gonna load up the hopper. I've got an empty hopper, empty hopper. Gonna dump that to close to the, the top. And then, very important, don't forget to prime. Otherwise, you're not gonna have smoke and you're gonna wonder why. Settings, auger, prime auger. <laughs> okay, while we're doing that, another cool thing, I'm gonna go ahead and plug these, why not? They are awesome. These are our drip tray liners and uh, we just started shipping these out in the last couple of weeks and they really do make clean up a breeze. So I'm gonna take it and drop it right in. If you wanna grab some of these, there's a link down below. Be sure to check that out. I think I'm gonna smoke these at 200 degrees, uh, which is lower than I normally smoke. And I'm gonna use the probe and I'm looking for a probe target of about 125 degrees internal on the salmon, which is on the lower side, I think. Uh, a lot of people would recommend 140, but to me, that's just, that's gonna be too dry and too well done. So for my salmon, I like to go on the, kind of the rarer side of done. And uh, so that's what we're doing. 125 internal at 200 degrees. Smoke level five. All right, while we're waiting for the auger to prime, I just wanna give a shout out to Joel in our Facebook community that came up with this pellet strainer. I used this to clean out the previous pellets before I, I loaded these pellets or emptied the previous pellets. This works great. Nice job, Joel. Okay, little pro tip here, because I'm going to a target temperature internal lower than 140, I'm gonna use the custom cycle. I've seen this actually, this comment a couple times, I think in Facebook, people wanna take it to a lower internal target temperature. You can do that in the customize cycle. So customize, I'm gonna to switch to a probe cook. And tell me to add a probe. Let me give it a minute. There we go. Set my probe target all the way down to 125. You can go all the way down to 110 on that, which would be a very rare steak. <laughs> all right, smoke attempt. I'm gonna do it at 200 because, I don't know, I feel like that's a good balance. It'll be done in probably three hours, maybe a little more. Um, still a reasonable amount of time for us to have some salmon before we go home for the day, so. That's my reasoning. Let's do it. I'm gonna put this thicker piece up top uh, where it tends to be a little warmer. And by up top, I mean like right outside the probe port or the smoke port. Plug my probe in. And then my thinner piece, I'm gonna put just right under it. Yeah. And I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna move this up one more level. Give them a little space, give them room to breathe. And I'm gonna come back at, at about the midpoint. So when this hits around 75 internal, I'm gonna come back and just swap those. That's my current plan and we'll roll. We'll start the smoke. All right, it's been about actually an hour and 15 minutes. This was much faster than I thought. Salmon cooks fast, uh, great reminder about that. Uh, but I think the product looks pretty darn good. Again, we had a set point of 125. We overshot just a little bit, went in to keep warm. You're gonna get some carryover. So we're currently around 132. Put these out on the counter and let them start to kind of rest for a few minutes and then we'll cut into it. All right, see how we did here. Just kind of cut into it. I don't know. See, 
what, what it sort of looks like. And it's actually beautiful. Look at that. Flaky, juicy, just straight up. We got a couple condiments here. <laughs> oh my. All right. I do this every video. That is so good. Kid you not, the brine doesn't create a salty sort of flavor, but it, it just adds a more complex flavor. It's got a great smoky, um, just a good smoke flavor too. It's not super intense. It's just right for salmon to me. Like this is some of the best smoked salmon I've made in this thing. Um, wow, that's really good. You gotta try this. This is a very much, a very simple approach to doing smoked salmon. Um, maybe take this as a starting point and tweak it however you see fit. But I'm telling you, even if you just do this simple recipe, it's amazing, it is amazing. So there's a quick and simple salmon, smoked salmon recipe for you. Remember the Kona pellets, grab some more of those and the tray liners, you can grab those on First Build website, link below. Um, until then, let us know what else you wanna see. We love making these videos and uh, eating food for sure. <laughs> it's been fun, we'll see you next time. Guys, y'all gotta come try this. Actually, so good.